The incoming air to the combustion turbine first goes through a weather hood to a filter housing. The weather hoods protect the filters from the effects of rain and sun and help minimize the amount of debris drawn into the filters. The air is drawn into and through the filter canisters. These filters remove particulates from the incoming air before it is admitted to the compressor inlet. The filter banks are constructed with self-cleaning filter assemblies. The pulse filter cleaning system uses a reverse airflow technique to clean debris from in-service filters. A differential pressure sample compares the pressure between the filter banks upstream and downstream and indicates when the filters are in need of cleaning. The system automatically initiates a cleaning cycle and pulses air into the filter rows one at a time until the differential pressure returns to an acceptable level. When the filter cleanliness is acceptable, the system stops the cleaning cycle until the next time the differential pressure indicates a need for cleaning. The system will resume cleaning on the next row where the previous cleaning cycle halted. It should be noted that some systems may be programmed to always run through a full cleaning cycle of all filters. From the filters, the air goes to an evaporative cooling media section. The evaporative cooler utilizes water to cool the incoming air. The cooler air results in a greater density of mass flow, thus maximizing the gas turbine's power output during hot days of operation. Downstream of the evaporative cooling section are the mist eliminators. The mist eliminators capture loose droplets of moisture that may be carried out of the evaporative cooler media. The inlet air flows through the two banks of filters and combines in the inlet manifold. From the inlet manifold, the air is drawn through silencers and then directed into the axial flow compressor inlet.